Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and today we're going to be talking about this week's upcoming traveling spirit, the Prophet of Earth from the Season of Prophecy. This spirit will be arriving this Thursday, and it's going to be bringing pretty much everything I have on, minus the pants. I, of course, always have to wear pants. So we have the mask, the cape, and the hairstyle from the spirit. The spirit will also very likely be bringing a prop, which we'll check out, and a music sheet. We'll also be doing some of the estimated pricing for the spirit, so stay tuned for that. This spirit can be found in the Cave of Prophecy, which is in the Isle of Dawn, towards the very back of this area. So we're going to pass all this stuff, and instead of going up, we're going to go into the Cloud Tunnel underneath here. Light up both of these and the door will open. Now the spirit we're looking for is just in the second cave, starting from the left. So it'll be in this one right here. Prophet of Earth, hello. All of the spirits in the Cave of Prophecy are super easy and very similar to relive. All we have to do is head into the middle, following their memories, and then come back. And this should be the final checkpoint right here. And there we go, we have collected the Prophet of Earth who gives us the dust off emote. Up next, we're going to check out all of the upgraded emotes for the spirit. We're back to take a closer look at all of the cosmetics, starting with the spider mask. This mask has six eyes. They don't blink, but they're very creepy looking. This mask has some little yellow accents on the front, and oops, I forgot to take off my flower. That does not come with the mask. As you can see, it's pretty sturdy stone, and it looks like a spider. And then we have this hairstyle. It's tied up very similarly on both sides of the head and it's very, very tucked in and neat. The back of the head looks like a little butt. And as we walk, these little tied up buns bounce a little bit. Boing, 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 boing. And finally, we have this purple cape, what I usually call the stone cape because it has these very nice stone shoulder pads, these stone accents to the bottom hem. It has these blue stripes and accents all around it. They do look a little gray in this lighting though. It is a purple and blue cape. And it's pretty lovely. I love the little scarf it has as well. Here's the inside. It's still got that purple color. I don't wear this cape enough, but it's really nice.
This spirit is expected to bring a prop, which would be the earth wall mural. So this is just a very simple prop. You drag it on a wall and it will show the image as you see here. Not super important, so if you wanted to skip this one, you definitely could. But if you wanted to decorate your shared space with some cute mural art, this is the prop for you. And now it's time for the estimated pricing for this spirit. Please bear in mind this is just an estimation, but it is based off of when the spirit accidentally arrived, so it may be correct. Starting at the bottom, we have the level 1 version of the emote for free. Connected to that is a level 2 for 4 hearts. And then we have the prop for 15 candles. Above that, we have a blessing for 5 candles. Connected to that is the hairstyle for 44. And a heart for 3 candles. Above that, we have a permanent wing buff for 2 ascended candles. And then above that, we have the level 3 version of the emote for 3 hearts. With that one, we have the level 4 version for 6 hearts and the music sheet for 15 candles. Above that, we should have another blessing for 5 candles. And finally, connected to that would be the spider mask for 44 and the stone cape for 75. So again, this is just an estimation, but altogether we're looking at about 13 hearts, 206 candles, and two ascended candles to buy everything from the spirit. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.